Hello Kingdom Citizen and welcome back. So we're looking at the three cardinal principles for a real kingdom man as stated in Proverbs 31. So the first principle we see that in verse 3 it tells us do not give your strength to women nor your ways to that which destroys kings. Now Proverbs 31 is talking about the words of King Lemuel's mother. Now, scholars still debate whether Lemuel was King Solomon or wasn't King Solomon. But one thing we do know is this person was associated with King Solomon and he was definitely speaking from experience because after 700 wives and 300 concubines and falling off the Lord, I think he was best placed or at least his mother after observing the destructive power of going after women to give us this solid counsel. 1 Kings 11 verse 3, he had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives turned his heart away. For when Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, and he was not wholeheartedly devoted to the Lord his God as his father David had been. I want you to imagine that you don't marry 700 wives and 300 concubines in a year or two. So that is a whole bunch of years invested in women. That's why he says, do not give your strength to women. So imagine all the other things Solomon could have accomplished if he had redirected the strength he had to give to these women somewhere else. Contrary to the promiscuity that the world celebrates, real kingdom manhood is seen in the discipline and self-control of men. So real bravado is not to the man who can go out with 100 different women, but to the man who can go out with one woman for the rest of his life in 100 ways. And beyond scriptural evidence, you just need to look around us to look at the great stars and people who had promising careers and a lot that they could do with your lives but just getting entangled with women destroyed all of that so the b part says know your ways to that which destroys kings your strength is your greatest value as a man and one of the greatest suckers and destroyers of a man's strength and his manhood as a kingdom person is women Principle number two, verse four tells us, It's not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes intoxicating drink. And it gives us an explanation in verse five, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. If you read that and because you want to justify your long-term relationship with alcohol and you said, well, he said not for kings, means you're already denying the scripture that says that we have been redeemed kings and priests. So a kingdom man is a king in the Lord. And it's not about debating whether it's the scripture is saying that drinking is a sin or not, because that's not the point. The point says that it's not for princes to consume intoxicating drinks, because God has designed you to function at your optimum and your premium with a clear mind. So beyond drinks, any substance that intoxicates the man destroys his kingdom manhood or his status as a king. So irrespective of what you believe as far as alcohol is concerned, whether it's a sin or not, that's not the focus. The focus here is that kingdom men are sober because that's what the scriptures tell us. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Why is that? Because man is the protector. So if a man is a protector over his family and all the entities around him, he can't afford to lose his sobriety when danger strikes. And we're not just looking at physical sobriety, but also spiritual sobriety. Because the Bible tells us, do not be drunk with wine, which is in excess, but be filled with the spirit. So the real drunkenness that a real kingdom man walks in is the drunkenness of the Holy Spirit. So whether you drink or not drink, if you're not constantly drunk in the Holy Spirit, then none of that really matters. And principle number three, verse eight tells us, open your mouth for the speechless in the case of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. Like the quote credited to Edmund Burke, 
The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. This scripture charges real kingdom men to be true ambassadors of God because the scripture tells us God is the one who speaks for the fatherless. He is the one who looks after the widows. He is the one who looks after the oppressed. So he is telling us a real kingdom man speaks out for those who cannot speak for themselves and he seeks justice for the poor and the weak. So in other words, this scripture reminds us the importance of the Good Samaritan, like in the story of the Good Samaritan shared by Jesus. Just imagine a world where we have a good number of God's representatives as Good Samaritans out there speaking out for others, helping the needy, reaching out for the weak, and not just getting satisfied. Remember, as good men, watching evil happen and not doing anything. But however, it's sad that as the world gradually slides and sinks towards darkness and corruption, we're gradually seeing, for example, in the US where good Samaritans keep getting prosecuted for stepping up and helping those in need or in challenges. And it's really quite heartbreaking that you can watch these videos of people going through severe trauma or assault and others just sitting there and minding their business because they know if they stepped in to do what the scripture clearly asks them to do, then the system is going to turn against them. But however, that only takes us back to that quote. Are we going to watch and let that happen or are we going to speak for one another in distress and in trials. So that is it for this video. Real kingdom men are disciplined and self-controlled. Real kingdom men are sober and filled with the Holy Spirit. And real kingdom men are active ambassadors of God, reaching out to the service of the poor, the weak, the needy, the speechless, all around them. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And if you watched this far, then you certainly enjoyed the video. Please give us a thumbs up. That really supports us. And subscribe and hit that bell if you're new to this channel. And a big thank you to our Patreons for making these videos possible. Without you, this content will not be here. So you too can do the same. Support this channel. The link is down below. So thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.